Disclaimer, this video is under fair use. And if you don't like my content, there's no point in telling me. You know what to do. Welcome to It Is What It Is, and y'all already know what it is with me. Let's get straight into it. So if y'all are not watching the mint on Now That's TV, I don't know what y'all are doing because this, this is one of the most explosive and craziest episodes I've ever seen on any show that's on Now That's TV. And that's honestly one of the most disgusting episodes I've ever seen as well. Well, minus that one episode on the mint where Tenneke did have an accident on the floor while she was fighting that one girl. But this... This episode right here is the episode that has everyone upset at Ferrari and all of the girls, most of the girls on the cast that are on the mint, including me, as we should be. This was so foul what happened on this show. Anyway, we about to get into it. So basically what happened was on the show, there was an altercation between this girl named Tenneke and this girl who I think her name is Wes. Anyway, they got in an argument over something that I really wasn't following. I didn't know what it was about. All I know is they were arguing over something dumb like it was completely irrelevant somewhere in between them arguing i think west brings up that tenneke should be a better mother to her kids or something about that she says something like that or something about her kids either way i think both of those are on the borderline of you know you don't speak on tenneke ended up getting upset over this like really upset as she should i mean if i was in her position i would have been the same way their argument escalated and what happened was tenneke ended up getting in west's face and west ended up swinging on her and they ended up fighting after they fought, they went their ways for a little bit, and Wes ended up crying because I think Tenneke, when they were fighting, Tenneke broke Wes' chain, and she also ripped her wig, so Wes was crying like a little baby, in my opinion, about all of her stuff being broken. Dime ended up going to Wes, telling her that was wrong for you to speak up on her kids, to talk about her mothering, all of that was wrong of you. She even started crying, getting emotional about it, because I guess she could relate about it. Wes ended up nodding, saying she understood, and said that she would also apologize to Tenneke. Long story short, Tenneke wasn't really accepting an apology she kind of was still angry about it and she kept kind of bringing up telling Wes you know don't speak on my kids next time you speak on my kids again I'm gonna beat you up Wes apologized and she wasn't really being aggressive towards Tenneke anymore but Tenneke really wasn't letting go of the fact that she still spoke on her kids so Tenneke ended up going up to her room Wes is downstairs with the house mom the messy bootleg Missy Elliott looking house mom I really don't like the house mom and I really feel like Dime should get rid of her but anyways because the house mom is extremely messy and she really just dared to cause drama and chaos I feel like. She ended up being messy and was egging on Wes to go upstairs and like I don't know fight Tenneke. She was like oh you want to go upstairs? Which Wes fell for debate. She ended up going upstairs and fighting Tenneke anyway. She was like oh she waiting too long to come downstairs to fight me but really Tenneke went upstairs to not fight. She was up there talking with Dime. But for some reason Wes still thought that Tenneke wanted to fight again. Now I forgot to mention mind y'all before this happened like before they were downstairs arguing and when Wes was like oh do you want to fight and Tenneke was like you know if you speak on my kids I'm just gonna fight you again this happened what I just went over and recapped this happened after Tenneke basically snuck Wes on the couch while she was asleep now Wes woke up after Tenneke snuck her while she was asleep and she was actually calm about the whole situation she was like you know do you want to fight I'll give you a fair one I see why you snuck me but do you want a fair fight so in my opinion at that moment moment Wes was actually real for that like she was real for waking up and not attacking her right after and being like look I see why you attacked me she was like do you want a fair fight to me Wes handled that perfectly in that moment but I also don't think she would be in the wrong for wanting to fight her or if she did attack her because she snuck her to me it's like okay you're now fighting her because she snuck you that's a little different but at the same time, I think Wes real for what she did. Now, I'm also not going to blame it all 100% on the house mom for Wes going upstairs and fighting Tenneke while Tenneke went upstairs and was technically quote-unquote done. I feel like, and here's the thing, as much as Wes was trying to be real and being like, alright, you snuck me because I talked about your kids and whatnot. Okay, fair. Here's the thing that I feel like she felt, and I'm the same way. If I'm truly apologetic or if I say sorry, whatever the case is, if I done you wrong and I say sorry to you but but you keep going off on the mouth saying that you still gonna beat me up at some point sis i'm not gonna be sorry no more at some point i'm gonna have to start throwing my hands on you too because you're not gonna shut up after i already apologized 
So I feel like it was just that type of situation. Wes could have kept it pushing and been a bigger person still, but hey, it doesn't always go like that. And sometimes when buttons are pushed, buttons are just pushed. Anyways, Wes goes upstairs to fight Tenneke and ends up winning. Tenneke can just clearly not fight, so she's not really winning any of the rounds when she fights on this show. So yes, Wes won and got her get back for Tenneke sneaking her on the couch. Now, at this point, their situation is done. I'm talking done and dusted. They don't need to be bickering back and forth no more. There's no reason for any more fights. Everyone's got their get back. It's finished. But here is where everything got effed up. Apparently, the only girls in the house were Tineke, Wes, and I think like a couple to a few more girls. The rest of the girls in the house were not at the house. They were actually out doing something. But what happens is Wes ends up running her mouth to the other girls who are not at the house, telling everyone that Tineke basically snuck her on the couch while she was asleep. So what happens is all those girls who are out end up getting ski masks, coming back in the house, going into Tineke. Tenneke's room and grabbing all of her stuff, throwing all her stuff down the balcony like this is an episode of BGC. Mind you, Tenneke is still in her room. She's asleep, but she wakes up to all of them breaking in her room and basically just like talking crap to her, grabbing all her stuff, throwing her stuff out. And then in the middle of everything while Tenneke is looking at them being confused, Ferrari starts hitting on Tenneke. She sneaks Tenneke, jumps her, and starts hitting on her. But the way they show it, Ferrari is obviously not doing damage. Where her short arm she got such a long body and short arms. She just looks so disproportionate, honestly. But her hits just look like they were not doing nothing at all. But she ends up sneaking Tenneke and they all end up throwing her stuff out. What pissed me off is Ferrari's hits look so weak that I didn't understand why Tenneke was looking away and like trying to push Ferrari off of her like she couldn't just turn around and start hitting back. I didn't understand that at all. Tenneke did end up saying afterwards that she was going to sue Nala's TV. So maybe she was trying to avoid fighting because she really didn't fight much at all really not that she can but maybe that's why she didn't is because she already thought that she was going to sue basically because she was getting jumped and ambushed rose who is honestly way too old to be doing what she's doing here in this episode she really gets on my nerves but anyway she ends up jumping tenneke as well and to me i say it's jumping because it's too many of y'all girls being bullies to this one girl and it's like honestly she just got in a fight with ferrari even as small as that was you're gonna waste no time jumping her right after ferrari just got to her yeah that's jumping what really pissed me off was wes was in the confessionals saying oh i didn't know the girls like me that much i didn't know they effed me that much to do this for me in my opinion i don't think these girls did this for wes i feel like everyone saw a tv moment and saw a bad girls club moment and just thought oh why don't we go jump her it also pissed me off that wes jumped in with all of them and started beating tenneke up again you and tenneke already fought and you won that fight you already got your get back so what are you doing jumping in fighting her again this was all around lame and all of them are an l for this this was some bully ish and this is not respected it will never be respected i cannot tell y'all how much i was seething watching this episode and just wanting to jump through the screen i promise you if i was on the mint that would have never went down <laughs> i promise you that would have never went down i almost feel like people need to boycott now that's tv too because the way production just let all of this go down and they did not step in is a very huge red flag and what's also crazy is it's also rumored that production actually gave the girls the ski mask and set it up with them honestly i really hope tenneke does soon out as tv because she honestly could get a bag from this this was all the way effed up and hopefully the contract doesn't say that she can't sue now i thought that there were quite a few people that actually were mad at dime because they felt like she had a hand in the setup too but i'm gonna keep it nothing but real with y'all it honestly looked like she knew nothing of it and had nothing to do with it knowing just how dime just kind of moved on the show i feel like she would have stopped that immediately like i just know if she was awake none of that would have even happened but the way production was moving in that snake house mom i just know that nobody woke her up it honestly was giving production and the house mom set the whole thing up now just based off of the previews of the next episode it looks like dime really gets on them and tells them that what they did was lame and whack 
but I'm not gonna lie I'm going to be mad at Diamond if she does not send them home and honestly the house mom needs to be sent home too along with production like I don't know do what you have to do cancel the show have a few emergency auditions get new production whatever you have to do damn near everyone has to get the f up out of there really except for a few girls and Tanaki. now after this episode aired most of the girls were quiet about their actions the only ones that really went live and were explaining themselves were ferrari and rose and nobody was happy about what they were saying on live and i'm gonna give you guys the gist of what they were saying now ferrari was saying a bunch of bs like a bunch of irrelevant stuff that did nobody want to hear didn't have anything to do with the fight or how effed up her actions were her. Ferrari later said that she didn't sneak or jump Tenneke and that they actually had a fair fight but in the footage Tenneke is clearly looking away doing something else while Ferrari starts beating on her so I don't know why she went and lied like that and I'm really starting to hate Ferrari because it's like you had no reason coming in her room while she was asleep beating on her anyways there was no reason to do that they both ended up saying that now this TV ended up editing a lot out so it makes it look like something that it's not but to me that still doesn't excuse the behavior. Rose ended up saying that Wes didn't even tell them that she got her get back and fought Tenneke already. She said that Wes made it seem like she was a victim. Rose said she thought that she was helping someone who she, you know, was being cool with and whatever, and that she was disappointed in Wes and that she also wants to fight Wes because she made it seem like she didn't get her get back. And it's like, that's cool and all, whatever, but these are the same type of girls that pride themselves on being real B words saying that they're the realest ones they stick up for their friends and everything and then y'all turn around and do some bully punk ish like this and then what really gets me is despite what these girls want to say about whether it's the truth or not these girls don't really f with each other like that they wasn't really cool with Wes like that even if it's whack i could imagine girls had to be best friends in order to get another group of girls to beat one girl over a one-on-one -on -one beef that her best friend had with somebody y'all was not cool with Wes like that and my thing is if i was in that situation and Wes came running to me and was like oh she snuck me on the couch yada 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 the most I would do was tell that girl like Razor said in baddies you better go get your lick back why you telling me I'm not gonna handle that for you you better go handle your business that's what they should have told her but they didn't and that's because they lame they else and this is never ever gonna be respected Ferrari went live multiple times and in one of the lives she was trying to de-escalate the attention towards her jumping Tenneke by saying but when me Kai punched me y'all wasn't in the comments saying she punched me for no reason y'all were quiet my thing is we all just watched you on this show the men doing something embarrassing why are you bringing up another embarrassing moment for yourself just to prove an irrelevant point Mia Kai did punch Ferrari for no reason she should have punched pink but what really had everyone even more confused is how you ran away from the situation you ran away from Mia Kai left Big Lex Baddies collection and regardless of what she said says i know she probably left for multiple reasons but i would be lying if i said it doesn't look like ferrari is scared of mia kaya ferrari tried to say on the live oh i seen mia kaya in a strip club i seen her this place that place and she didn't do anything so who's really scared and this really just tell me that ferrari's slow i don't know if she's slow or dumb one or the other or both but this just let me know that the girl really just slow because girl why would mia kaya hit you again when she already hit you why would what reason would she have to hit you again? Of course she's not going to do anything when she sees you in public. She already hit you. It's your turn to do something. I guess Miyakaya hit Ferrari so hard that Ferrari's permanently slow now. Ah, I, I wish I was joking. Anyways, I had to speak on this because this whole episode just pissed me off. All of these girls are losers, marks for what they did, lames. I really can't respect any of it. Don't even feel like it's worth mentioning any of their names, but for Ferrari especially is a mark to me and just has disappointed me greatly and I mentioned her because she's obviously been on now the TV more than the rest of these girls. I'm just completely disappointed. Now some of the girls from the men are already going live and they already were kind of talking about what was going to take place at the mint reunion and there are rumors that fights are already being planned. There are some girls from South Central Baddies, Las Vegas Baddies that are all on now that's TV. Some of the cast members from shows on now that's TV have been getting into it with some of the girls on on the men and this pretty much happened because after that episode aired clearly everyone was upset including some of the now that's tv girls and so what they're doing is basically getting their heavy 
hitters, their best fighters, to come and fight the girls who jumped Tenneke in that episode and basically did her dirty. And then the girls that had the ski mask in that episode, the ones that jumped Tenneke, were all throwing her stuff out. They're also getting their heavy hitters and their best fighters to back them up against those girls when their reunion comes. So two of those girls on Now That's TV that got money put on them to fight at the Mint reunion. One of them is Ivory, who was on Now That's TV, and the other one is Cash. Ivory was on Las Vegas Baddies. I think she's also going to be on this upcoming season of South Central Baddies. And Cash, who was on South Central Baddies also. To me, these are two of the most heavy hitters on Now That's TV. Honestly, they are some of the only ones that can fight on Now That's TV to me. They're both heavy hitters. There really isn't many heavy hitters on Now That's TV to me. They both are are really the tops when it comes to fighting on Now That's TV. So the girls were really fighting over the two of them. They both, both sides of, you know, the ones defending Tenneke and the ones that were going to be defending themselves at the reunion against what they did to Tenneke. Both sides wanted these girls on their team to fight for them when the reunion came. Now, honestly, what I don't like about Cash and Ivory, because honestly, I cannot stand Cash. And I like Ivory, but the one thing that I don't like that her and Cash have in common is that they're really going to fight anyone. They don't care they don't care what drama they have with you they really don't care they just really gonna fight anybody it doesn't matter to them they don't even care if they just made peace with you they still gonna fight you it's like i don't know they're both like switches they gonna flip on and off at any second it don't matter what happens it just depends on what they feel like now i'm not sure which girls from the mint are bringing which girls from other sides now this tv to the mint reunion but it's rumored that cash is going to be fighting ferrari and honestly i can't wait to see that ferrari honestly deserves what's coming to her However, Ferrari does have Ivory on her side. Ferrari has been flirting with Ivory a lot. Like, it was like she was trying to make Ivory her little boo thing or whatever. But Ivory really was not really going for it. She did later kind of cave in and was like calling Ferrari her little boo thing or whatever. And both of them are cool. But honestly, I feel like Ferrari recruited Ivory early on because Ferrari does this thing where she likes to recruit girls and kind of like talk or be friendly with girls who really know how to fight because she cannot fight. And and it's like I just cannot stand girls that do that because it's like I don't care if you short whatever you got short arms Rex arms like Ferrari learn how to fight and even if you just don't know how to fight like still it looks lame to recruit girls that know how to fight all because you can't now I don't know how this is going to go between Cash and Ivory being that Cash supposedly is coming for Ferrari and Ivory is clearly on Ferrari's side but Cash and Ivory both said that they're basically fighting for money so they're basically only listening to the bag Ivory said that she's going to to come for whoever they tell her to come for which i guess is whoever paid her to come and fight and cash pretty much said the same thing so we're gonna see how it turns out i wonder if this is actually gonna go through or what's going to happen but we'll see i'm really looking forward to the next episode this coming sunday and i'm hoping dime addresses all of them and everything that happened properly otherwise i'm going to be looking at her sideways too but anyways that's all i have let me know what you guys think below and until next time